السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعزائي الطلاب وطالبات الشهادة الإعدادية أهلا بيكم في حلقة جديدة من حلقات منصة البث المباشر في وزارة التربية والتعليم معاكم مساء المعروف Peace be upon you my dear student Welcome to you مساء المعروف In this session we will talk about another part in science for certificate Let's start In this session we have revision on second semester. Question number one, put yes or no in front of the following statements and the correct the underlined words. Number one, the increase in the concentration of reactants increases the number of collisions between molecules so that the speed of the, speed of the reaction decreases. This question in unit one, in unit one, lesson two. The speed of the chemical reaction, we know that. The speed of the chemical reaction can be defined as the rate of a change in the concentration of reactant and the product during unit time. And we know that there are many factors affecting on the speed of the chemical reaction. For example, nature of reactant, concentration of reactant, temperature catalyst. One of these factors is concentration of reactant. What happens? by increasing the concentration of reactants, the number of collision increases as the number of molecules increases. So what happens to the speed of the chemical reaction increases, not decreases. This means that this statement is not correct. To correct it in a state of decreases, we put increases. Question number two. Most metal carbonates decompose on being heated into metal oxide and carbon dioxide. This question in unit one, lesson one. We know that chemical reaction can be classified into three types. Number one, thermal decomposition. Number two, substitution reaction. Number three, oxidation and reduction. This question about thermal decomposition. We know that thermal decompositions have five examples. Decomposition of metal oxide, metal hydroxide, metal carbonate, and metal nitrate, and metal sulfate. He asked you about metal carbonates. We know that all thermal decomposition reactions decompose into similar component and gas evolves. When metal carbonates heat, Heated, what happens to it? It will decompose into metal oxide and carbon dioxide. This means that this statement is correct. Number three, the dynamo produced alternating electric current. We know that electric current can be classified into two types, direct and alternating, as we talked about them in lesson two, unit two. And we know that each one of this type of electric current has many properties. For example, direct electric current can be transferred for short distance and also can to be converted into alternating electric current and has constant direction, constant intensity. And they produce from, yes, electrochemical cell as battery and the electric cell. This means that generator produce alternating electric current, not direct electric current. This means that this statement is correct. Question number four. Genes are parts of DNA found in cytoplasm of cell. We know that the component of genetic materials which are called the chromosomes. Chromosomes can be con, con, can, can contain two parts, two chromatides. Each chromatide consists of DNA and protein. Inside DNA, there is a genes which are parts of DNA found in nucleus, not cytoplasm. As nucleus, it is the organ that contains the genetic materials. This means that this statement is not correct. In the state of cytoplasm, we must put nucleus. 
Question number five. Thyroid gland secretes a hormone that organizes the growth and the development of sexual organs in human body. We know that. What is the meaning of endocrine glands? Endocrine glands, they are the ductless glands that secrete hormone inside blood directly. And we have five examples of glands. Number one, pituitary glands, thyroid glands, pancreas, two adrenal glands, reproductive glands. One of these glands is thyroid gland. Thyroid gland secrete two hormones. One of them is thyroxine hormone and calcitonin hormone. This means that this statement is not correct. Why? Growth hormone is not secreted by thyroid gland, but it is secreted by pituitary gland. This statement is not correct. In the state of thyroid gland, we write pituitary gland. Six. Calcitonin hormone controls the levels of calcium in human body. Calcitonin hormone controls the level of calcium in human body. We know that from the previous question that thyroid gland produces hormone which is called the calcitonin hormone that controls the level of calcium in human body. This statement is correct. Number seven. Glucogen is secreted by pituitary gland. We know that pancreas gland produces two hormones. One of them is insulin and the other is glucagon hormone. Both of them control the level of glucose and the glucagon in the human body. Glucagon is secreted by, yes, pancreas, not pituitary gland. This statement is not correct. In a state of pituitary gland, we put pancreas gland. Another type of question in this revision, compare between each of the following. Metal oxide and metal hydroxide in terms of heat effect. We know that thermal decomposition reaction can be classified into five examples or five types. One of them is metal oxide and second is metal hydroxide. In metal oxide, we know that it decomposes into metal and oxygen it's the primary element and also we have one example mercury oxide which has red color decomposed by heat into mercury and oxygen gas evolves mercury has silver color this means that mercury oxide it changes from red color to silver color by heat metal hydroxide decomposes into metal oxide and water vapor Metal hydroxide decomposes into metal oxide and water vapor. The gas produced from thermal decomposition of metal hydroxide is water vapor. For example, copper hydroxide, which has blue color and supplies by CuOH bracket 2, decomposed by heat into CuO plus H2O evolves. CuO has black color. This means that copper hydroxide, it changes its color from blue to black by heating. Another question on comparison. The dominant trait and the recessive one with giving examples. I asked you to compare between dominant trait and the recessive trait. We know that all traits in human body and on all living organisms can be classified into two types. Number one, hereditary trait and acquired trait. Hereditary traits can transfer from one generation to another as color of eyes. But acquired trait can be transferred from parent to offspring as a skill of playing football, a skill of handwriting. All of these are called acquired traits. And also hereditary traits can be classified into another types. One of them is dominant trait and the other is recessive trait. Dominant trait, trait can be defined as it is the trait that dominates the other and appears in the first generation by ratio 100%. Number one, it dominates the other trait. Number two, 
appears in the first generation by ratio 100%. And dominant trait can be formed by similar dominant factors or different factors. This means that dominant trait can be pure or hybrid. Pure when one dominant factor comes from father, combined with another dominant factor from mother. Or one dominant trait from father or mother with recessive factor from father or mother, which is called hybrid trait. Again, dominant trait, number one, it dominates the other. This means that it appears in the first generation by ratio 100%. And also may be pure or hybrid. Pure when it has two similar dominant factors. Hybrid when it has two different factors. One is dominant and the other is recessive. The recessive traits, for example, for dominant trait, yellow seeds of pea plant, curly hair in human, white eyes in human, presence of dimples in human, and there are many dominant traits, for example. Recessive trait number one, disappears in the first generation, disappears in the first generation, but, but it will appear in the second generation by ratio one over four from the office brink. And it will be formed by two similar recessive factors only. This means that recessive trait must be pure, not hybrid. For example, green seeds of pea plant, hairy hair, straight hair in human, straight hair in human, narrow eyes in human, no dimples in human. All of these are recessive traits. Again, to make the comparison between dominant trait and recessive traits, number one, in dominant trait, it dominates the other and appear in the first generation can be formed from two similar factors or two different factors. In two similar factors must be dominant factors. When the factors are different, maybe uh, which is called a hybrid, one of them dominant and the other recessive. Recessive trait disappears in the first generation and it is formed from two similar recessive factors only. So recessive trait must be pure trait. Another type of question in front of you, a picture of a device and has a function. He asked you about the name of this device. What is the name of this device? It's called sliding rheostat. Sliding rheostat or variable rheostat. Question number two, label the shape. Number one. This structure is called cover bore. This structure is called cover bore. Number two, yes, slider. Slider, which to move on the slender to increase the resistance and to control the electric current intensity and the potential difference. Number three, yes, cover coils that revolve around the slender, which is made of porcelain, porcelain slender. Question number four, problem. Calculate the potential difference of two ends of vacuum cleaner whose resistance is 22 ohms and the current intensity passing through it is 10 ampere. He asked you to find the electric current intensity The given information in front of you, potential difference question mark. This means that it is a known physical quantity. Resistance, which equals 22 ohm. Electric current intensity, 10 ampere. To find potential difference, we have ohm's law. That represents the relation between electric current intensity and the potential difference at constant temperature. We know that V equal I multiply R. V represent potential difference. 
I represents electric current intensity. R, electric resistance. So V equal in state of I, 10 multiply 22 equal 220 volt. It is very easy problem. Question number five, it is another type of question which is complete the equations in front of you. We have three equ chemical equations. Number one, sodium chloride reacts with silver nitrates. It is one of the type of the chemical reaction which is called, yes, double substitution reaction. How can we know? It is double substitution reaction as sodium as a metal replace silver. Why? Because sodium is more active than silver in the chemical activity series. So sodium combined with nitrate group to form sodium nitrate. And silver combined with chlorine to form silver chloride white precipitate. It is very important to part. As all double substitution reaction form precipitate, no. When we have a salt with a salt, salt solution react with salt solution and precipitate is formed. This precipitate has white color and this chemical reaction very fast reaction as as soon as adding sodium chloride solution to silver nitrate solution, white precipitate is formed. This equation is balanced or not. One atom of sodium react and one sodium atom reduce. One chlorine reduce one. Silver one atom reduce one. Nitrate group reduce one group. This means that this equation is balanced. Second chemical equations. Copper hydroxide decomposed by heating into space and space. This chemical reaction represents one of the type of the thermal decomposition reaction. Thermal decomposition reaction of metal hydroxide. We know that metal hydroxide can decompose by heat into metal oxide and water vapor. This means that copper hydroxide decomposed by heat into copper oxide and water vapor. Chemical equation number two, mercury oxide. We know this chemical equation as one of the type of thermal decomposition when metal oxide decomposed by heat into silver or metal with oxygen. Mercury oxide decomposed by heat into mercury and oxygen. Question number six. Choose the correct answer for each of the following statements. Number one, the space hormone releases the needed energy from the food. Growth hormone, estrogen hormone, thyroxin hormone. Which of them is correct? Hormone releases the needed energy from food. It is responsible for stimulation process. What is this hormone name? Yes, thyroxine hormone. The correct answer is thyroxine hormone. Question number two. The hormone responsible for producing the secondary sexual male characteristics is the space hormone. We know that pituitary glands play an important role as it's called master gland. Why pituitary gland is called master gland? Because it secretes all hormones that regulate all activities of the other glands. For example, reproductive glands. He asked you about reproductive glands. Reproductive glands can be classified into two examples, testis and the ovaries. We know that testis in humans produce hormone that is responsible for secondary sexual male characteristics, which is called progesterone, maybe testosterone, maybe adrenaline hormone, maybe. Which of them is correct? Yes, I can hear you. All of you are correct. Citrone hormone. 
test to set run her work. Question number three. Voltmeter is used to measure a space in electric circuit. Potential difference, current intensity, resistance. We know that electric current has three physical properties. Potential difference, electric current intensity, and electric resistance. Voltmeter as a device is used to measure two physical quantities. Potential difference and the electromotive force. In potential difference is connected in parallel with the two ends of a conductor to measure the potential difference. But when the electric circuit is opened, voltmeter is connected in parallel connection with the two poles of the battery to measure electromotive force. So the correct answer, voltmeter is used to measure potential difference. Number four. The unit of the measuring the electric resistance is ampere, volt, volt per ampere. Electric resistance can be defined as the ratio between potential difference and electric current intensity. So it is measured by two measuring units. One of them is ohm related to ohm scientist and potential difference measured by volt. Electric current intensity is measured by ampere. So electric resistance can be measured by volt per ampere and O. It has two measuring units. Question number five. The unit of the measuring the current intensity is coulomb per second, volt, O. Which of them is correct? The unit of the measuring the electric current intensity is we know that electric current intensity equal quantity of charges in unit time can be defined as the quantity of charges in unit time passing through a cross section of conductor. So electric current intensity equal Q over T and it has two measuring units ampere and it is equivalent to another measuring unit which is coulomb per second as electric current intensity equal quantity of charges, which is measured by column, divided time, which is measured, measured by second. Number six, the alternating column has a changeable or variable direction, intensity, direction and the intensity. We know that alternating electric current has many properties can be transferred for short and long distance, can be converted into direct electric current, produced from generator, and has variable direction, variable intensity. So the correct answer, alternating current has a changeable direction and intensity. Question number seven. Write the scientific term for each of the following statements. Number one. Science that researches the transmission of heredity traits from one generation to another by studying the similarity and the difference between the parent and offspring. This science is called, yes, genetics. Genetics is a science that search about how heredity traits transfer from one generation to another by studying the similarities and the differences between parent and offspring. Number two, he asked you about a type of trait, the trait that appears in all individuals. This means that it dominates the other. Of the first generation in Mendel's experiments, first law and second law of heredity trait. This trait is, yes, dominant trait, as it appears in the first generation by ratio 100%. Number three, Appearance of heredity trait in the individuals of the first generation. When two individuals copulate and one of them is carrying pure heredity trait, contrasting is a trait carried, carried by the other individual. It is a principle. And its name is, yes, yeah, think about this question. Principle of complete dominance. Principle of complete dominance is that 
there is two traits. One of them appears in the first generation and the other disappears. That is the principle of complete dominance. Number four, the atoms of elements that contain the same number of protons and have different number of neutrons. This question, yes. In unit two, lesson three. When we talked about radioactivity phenomena, we know that element can be classified into metal, non-metal, inert gases, metalloids, and radioactive element. Radioactive element can be defined by the element that produce rays to be stable as uranium. All of these elements are formed or are found in a form of a type of element, which can be defined as atoms of this element that contain same number of protons, but they have different number of neutrons. For example, H11, H12, H13, all of these are hydrogen, but they are different in number, mass number or number of neutrons. These four are called isotopes. Isotopes, they are atoms of the same element that contain same number of protons, but they have different number of neutrons. Number seven. Number five, the obstruction. Obstruction, the electric current during its flow in the conductor. The obstruction that opposes the electric current during its flow in the conductor. We know that. Obstruction means resistance. So this definition represents what? Obstruction that faces the electric current during its passing through conductor. Yes, electric resistance. Number six, chemical reactions in which the compound breaks up into sample elements by heat. It is very important definition. And very easy. Chemical reactions in which the compound breaks up into sample elements by heat, it is one of the type of the chemical reaction which is called thermal decomposition. How can we know? Yes, he said that breaks up into sample elements and also by heat. So the def definition of this concept represents thermal decomposition. Number seven, chemical process in which an atom of element acquires one or more electron. What does this mean? Acquires one or more electron. Acquires means reduce. When the chemical process in which the atom of the element acquires one or more reduced electron, this means that losing of electron. We know that Losing of electron represent oxidation reaction. Oxidation and the reduction can be defined by two terms. One of them is traditional concept and the other is electronic concept. Traditional concept, we know that oxidation is a process of increasing oxygen and decreasing hydrogen. But reduction, decreasing of oxygen and increasing of hydrogen. And also oxidation reduction can be defined in the electronic concept as oxidation is a process of losing the electron. Reduction is a process of gaining the electron. But in this statement, there is no loss or gain. But there is another verb which is called acquires. Acquires means they produce. When the atom produces electrons, this means that it loses electron. So the definition is oxidation reaction number eight it is chemically consisted of nucleic acid called dna connected with protein yes it is a thread which is called chromosome chromosome is chemically consisted of nucleic acid dna and protein number nine the are parts of dna on the chromosomes and control the hereditary traits of the individual. This part 
of DNA, yes, think about this question. It is very easy. Genes, we know that genes are parts of DNA on the chromosomes and control the hereditary traits. And also, we, we know the mechanism of gene to produce the hereditary traits. As gene produce enzyme, this enzyme activates the chemical reaction inside the human body to produce protein, and this protein is responsible for appearance of hereditary traits. This means that gene has a specific function for each trait. And each gene responsible for appearance of only one genetic trait, not more than one. For the following, number one, reaction of water with sodium. Reaction of water with sodium, it is one of the type of the chemical reaction, which is called sample substitution reaction. As metal replaces hydrogen of water. When sodium reacts with water, sodium is more active than hydrogen in the chemical activity series, so it replaces hydrogen and forms sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas evolves. Sodium plus H2O. Water is found in a form of H positive and OH negative. Sodium combines with OH to form sodium hydroxide. And the hydrogen gas evolves in a form of hydrogen molecule. Number two, the decomposition of sodium nitrate by heat. Sodium nitrates, which has white color, can be represented by NaNO3. Decomposed by heat into sodium nitrite, NaNO2, and the hydrogen gas evolves. Number three, insertion of magnesium repon in a solution of copper sulfate. Yes, it is a type of simple substitution reaction. As magnesium replace what replace copper as it more active than copper in the chemical activity series. Magnesium can be represented by its symbol M capital G plus copper sulfate Cu SO4. Magnesium combines with sulfate group to form a magnesium sulfate and the copper red precipitate is formed. This chemical reaction is Simple substitution reaction. What is the color of carbon sulfate solution? Is blue. What happens during this chemical reaction? The color of this solution disappears and red precipitate is formed. Problem number nine. If the work is done to transfer electric charges of 300 column between two points as 33,300 joule. Calculate the potential difference between the two points. First, we make a draft and write the given information. Work done equals 33,300 joule, quantity of the charge is 300 coulomb. And he asked you about potential difference, which has question mark. This means that it is unknown physical quantity. What is the law that represents the three physical quantities? Work done, quantity of the charges. Potential difference. We know that potential difference equal work done divided quantity of the charges. It is the law which is used to measure to uh, solve this problem. Potential difference equal work divided the charges. Work equal 3000, 33,300 joule divided the charges, which is 300 coulomb equal 111 volt. 111 volt. Uh, question number 10 in lesson 2 in unit 2. You have four similar electric cells. Potential difference of each one or electromotive force of each one, 1.5 volt. Illustrate by drawing how you connect them to get batteries of electromotive force number one, 4.5. I explain this part in many times, and we know that to find and draw the electric circuit, electric circuit that represent the connection of these electric cells, we must know the electromotive force to which he needs to, uh, to draw this electric circuit. In this example, he needs to draw the electric cells which are connected maybe in series or in parallel 
and the electromotive force of the circuit 4.5 volt. This value is smaller than or greater than the submission. For electric sense, each one 1.5, this means that when they are connected in series, make a submission of the four electric sense, 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 equals 6. 4.5 is less than 6. This means that the, the four electric sense, all of them are not connected in series. To draw this electric circuit, you must connect three only in series connection. But we have four. How can we draw three in series connection? But one only of the electric cell must be connected in barrel. How? First, draw the first electric cell. The second electric cell. The two electric cells are connected in parallel connection. Negative with negative, positive with positive. And we have four, not two. The two electric cells are connected in series. Positive of the two electric cells, which are connected in parallel, with the negative of the second electric cell. And the positive of the second with the negative of the third. Positive represents the positive pole of the battery. That is the connection. To find the electromotive force of the electric circuit in front of you, the two parallel equal 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 equal 0.5. Number two, he asked you to draw electric circuit that represents the connection of four electric cells with six volt. Six volt means submission of the four electric cells. So these electric cells must be connected in series connection. The first dry cell, positive pole of the first connected to the negative pole of the second, positive pole of the second connected to negative pole of the third, positive pole of the third connected to the negative pole of the fourth, and the negative pole of the first represents the negative pole of the battery, Positive pole of the force represents a positive pole of the battery. 6 volt, 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 equal 6 volt. Number three. He asked you to draw electric circuit in which the four electric cells are connected and their electromotive force equals three. three is less than the submission, but equals the submission of two electric cells only. This means that we must have two electric cells are connected in series, but we have four. To connect them, we must connect the other two in parallel connection with the first two. How? Number one, the two electric cells are connected in parallel. So the electromotive force of the two cells, 1.5. Then connect the other two poles, two electric cells, in parallel. So the electric motive force of the other two electric cells, 1.5. 1 1.5 plus 1.5 equal 3 volt. The second way, I asked you to, to draw the electric circuit to represent the electromotive force, 3 volt in three ways, not only one way. The second way, three electric cells are connected in parallel. And only one electric cell is connected in series connection. The electromotive force of the three electric cells, which are connected in parallel, equal 1.5. And there is another electric cell that is connected in series, 1.5 plus 1.5 equal 3. Third way, two of the electric cells are connected in series, and the second two are connected in series. Then the first two, which are connected in series, connected with the second electric cells, which are connected in series, in parallel connection by this way. 
to find the electrovotive force of the first two electric cells equal 3, 1.5 plus 1.5. And the two electric cells, 1.5 plus 1.5. 2 and 2. This means that 3 volt and 3 volt connected in parallel. So the electromotive force equal 3 volt. Number 11. If crossing takes a place between two pea plants, each of them has red hybrid flower, explain on basis of genetic principles the genetic structure of the parent and the produced individuals. First, first, we write the parent. One of them is red hybrid. No, all of them red hybrid. Red can be represented by R capital. Red hybrid can be represented by red capital, R capital, R small. And the other parent, R capital, R small. Second step, formation of gametes or segregation of gametes. R capital, R small. R capital, R small. First generation, R capital may be combined with R capital to form R capital, R capital. R capital combines with R small to form R capital, R small. R small represents with R capital to form R capital, R small. R small represent, combines with R small to form R small, R small. The ratio of the individual in this generation, three to one. Three dominant and one recessive trait. 75 dominant, 25 recessive trait. Number 12, explain or give reason. Reactions between ionic compounds are fast where is the action between covalent two compounds are slow? We know that from the factors affecting on the speed of the chemical reaction, the type of bond. We know that ionic compounds are faster than the covalent two compounds in their chemical reaction. Why? Because ionic compounds are found in a form of ion in their solution. But covalent to compound are found in a form of molecules that need time to be divided. Question number two. The speed of the chemical reaction increases when the amount of reactant increases. One of the factors that affects on the speed of the chemical reaction. The speed of the chemical reaction increases when the amount of reactant increases. Yes. Due to what? Increasing the number of molecules and the number of collision. Because by increasing amount of reactant, the number of molecules increases and the number of collision increases. Number three, it is better to use the alternating current rather than the direct current. We prefer to use alternating current in our houses instead of direct electric current. Why? Because it can transfer for short and long distance and also can be converted into direct electric current. Number four, voltmeter is connected to post pool of the battery in the electric circuit, tabar in parallel connection. Voltmeter is connected to post pool, why? To measure electromotive force. Number five, rheostat is used in some electric circuit. He asked you about the function of rheostat, why? We connect rheostat in the electric circuit, for example, Ohm's electric circuit. Yes, to control the electric current intensity and potential difference. Number six, some cells are connected in electric circuit in series. Why? We connect electric cells in series to get biggest electromotive force. Seven, some cells are connected in the electric circuit in barrel. It is the opposite for the question number six, to get the smallest electromotive force. Number eight, thyroid gland plays an important tool in controlling the level of calcium in blood. Why? Because it secretes calcitonin hormone that regulates the level of calcium in blood. At the end of the session, thank you for listening, and we will meet together next Sunday, inshallah.
peace be upon you and good night.